Really, the video is about Mailchimp and how you can edit like a campaign that you've already created or duplicate. You can duplicate that already created campaign in your Mailchimp account. Everyone, welcome back to Coolest Tech Finds. I am Johanna, and I am um, well. Hi everyone, firstly, usually if you look through this channel, I have been only uploading like voiceovers and you know like screen recordings and no one really kind of knows how I look, no. I have like one or two videos of my face but this is how I look now so I want to start like coming here <laughs> on YouTube on this channel. Um, I think it's going to just grow this channel more if persons actually get to interact with my face and I'm the clueless tech finder. So without any more chatting or blabbering, check the video out. Alright everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'm basically going to show you how you replicate a already existing campaign and edit it. So the first thing you want to do is go to MailChimp.com and that's where I am right now. And you want to click login. So I'll put in the username, which is there by default, Mayfed Social Media. And then I will put password in and click login. So we're not creating a brand new campaign. We're going to make a replica or duplicate of one that we already have. So I'm going to click campaign or campaigns here at the top left hand corner and then right here this is the last campaign that was sent it was sent on March 31st and now where you see view report here there's this little arrow down arrow here which indicates that it's a drop down menu so you click replicate We already have 259 subscribers or persons in our email um, list for the campaign. So we're going to go ahead and send to the entire list and click next. Now we're going to make some adjustments here. Um, it says Mayfed Sweet Stop. That's the campaign name. And I usually like to put like the date just to ensure that I don't get mixed up because I always want the most recent campaign to make a duplicate of. So today is the 7th, it's 2017. I usually take out um, this copy. And the email subject would be the same as the campaign name, which would be April. We fed sweets up April 7, um, 2017. Now, because this is the name that it always goes out as, I like to like give persons a teaser or something that is upcoming, etc., etc. We're gonna put senior youth leadership training. I'm gonna put a little. I don't know what that stroke thing is called. But usually when persons see like a different subject, they tend to click on the email more. Okay, so from name Mayfed and then we click. This is what our campaign looks like. And we're going to click right here where the gray bar is. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and change whatever detail that needs to be changed in here. Okay, for this section, we just have to change some information. So there's just a little um, notation here that I want to include. So I'll highlight what I want to take out and then I'll paste that in there. I usually like to go through the campaign and edit all the things that need to be edited. If I need to put any new information in there, that goes in there. Um, you could use like bullets or the insert number 
um, feature, but I've been having some complications with that, so I just decided to take that out. Okay, so something new that needs to go in there is this little bit of information here about um, IAD campery and, and talking to parents and so forth. So I'm just going to copy that text and come right over here and paste it in. And I want this image that is here on our Facebook to be included. So I'll click this image. I'll save it. I'll put it um, probably on my desktop. Give it a name and I'll click save. Now I'll come back to the MailChimp thingy here and I'll ensure that the cursor is right here blinking at the end of the sentence because I want the image to go at the end of the sentence. And then I will click um, Content Manager. This is where you get to upload images. And I'll click Upload. I'll locate the file. It's on my desktop in this folder. It's right here, ID Image Open. Now it's giving you some things here. It says um, Edit Image Width and Height. I like all the images except the calendar that is in this campaign to have the same width so keep proportions i never unselect that because it means if you change the width it's just going to get smaller or bigger in proportion to the length if you understand or the height so all you really want to change here is 500 um for the purpose of the person of why i'm doing this um tutorial i want her to always use 500 as the width but you can use something else and then we're going to insert and save image so as you can see here the image has been inserted and then we can um put anything else that belongs in there there's another update that i want to include in there so i'm just going to press enter twice and then just use another point and i'll put that information in there so i'm going to put um i'm just going to say come in soon dash um honor they me twenty one two thousand and seventeen and pathfinder or pathfinder pathfinder slash adventure rally would be June. 2017. So I like um, putting images in with every update to the best of my ability. So I'm going to go back to Mayfed social media here and see if I could, you know, find like an image of some sort that would go with it. So I just click um, photos. I'll save image as um, Pathfinder, save, go back to the campaign, um, builder, ensure that the cursor is at the end of where I want it to go, click that, upload, open. So now we have our image here. I'm going to do the same thing. We want our width to be 500. And just for the sake <clears throat> of the video, I'm going to show you that when I change this width to 500 and I move this cursor in here, it will change 
it will keep the proportion, meaning it won't look distorted or stretched or elongated or anything like that. So I just click in there and show you that it jumps down to 375 in height. So keep your proportions. And we're going to insert and save image. I think that's all we have to send out for this week's sweet top. And we are definitely going to click next and send and it says send now and send now high fives your campaign is um in the sending queue and we'll go out shortly so this is how you send out a or make a duplicate campaign in mailchimp all right guys thanks for watching my video i hope that it was super super helpful to you and before you leave if you're a youtuber and you're struggling to get past like 50 or 100 subscribers or you want to know how you can grow your youtube channel i have an e well this is not my main channel i should let you guys know i have my main channel and other channels that i have here on youtube listed in the description box down below and my main channel has almost 4,000 subscribers. So if you want to know how I grew that channel, I think the name, no, why am I saying I think? I don't think. I know that the name of my main channel is Denny Girl Joe. So if you want to check out Denny Girl Joe and find out how exactly I grew that channel to where it is today, click in the description box down below to purchase my new ebook, The Unbothered YouTuber for beginners and get 30% off with discount code unbothered. I'll see you the next one. Bye.